beauties, it's Kiana. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you how I style my curly hair. I do have a spiral perm. I have thick hair and I believe that my hair is more on the lower side of the porosity scale. So there's three different products that I like to use in my hair and I do my hair in a very specific way. Um, my voice is a little bit funky still. I just got my tonsils out it's about a week ago. Um, I'm doing really, really well but I'm pronouncing things a little bit differently. I'm still working on that and figuring out, you know, like how to produce sound. <laughs> but the style of this video is going to be more of like a get ready with me and we're in my bathroom right now and I'm gonna set you guys up in front of me and we're gonna talk about the products that I use and why and I'll show you guys how I do my hair. So the first thing that I do when it is wash day is I wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner and detangle in the shower and then I do a deep conditioning mask for about 20 minutes or so and that just helps me make sure that all the tangles are out because my hair is thick, it is very tangly and I do all of that in the shower and then I wrap it up with a microfiber towel. Heaven forbid if I use a regular towel my hair will be so, so frizzy, it's not fun. So I love my microfiber towel. It's very soft and it's very gentle on the hair. So I definitely recommend using a microfiber towel for your curly hair. So I'm going to take my hair down. And I just like to take my towel and set it in front of me so that I can wipe off my hands when I have product all over them. So this is what my hair looks like right now. And before I do anything, I like to move my hair into a rough part. I don't like my hair to have a straight part in it. I like it to be a little bit mismatched and a little bit messy because if it's a straight part, I don't know, I feel like I get a little bit more frizz and it looks a little bit better when the part is messy. So this is where I'm at with my part. And now because my hair has been wrapped up in a towel, it's pretty dry, I like to apply my products to my hair soaking wet. It prevents frizz for me. My hair is very thick. There's a lot of it, there's a lot of frizz, so for me to combat that, I just soak my hair down with a spray bottle. I have this one from the dollar store. It was a dollar. Best purchase ever. Okay, so now that my hair is basically soaking wet, I like to be able to hear like the squishy sound in my hair and that's how I know that it's wet enough for what I need to do. So the first product that I like to apply is a leave-in conditioner. This one is by Shea Moisture. It is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I love this leave-in conditioner. It smells so good and it really does make my hair a lot softer. On day three, four hair, I can still tell that I have this in my hair so it must last and leave an impression on my hair and my hair just soaks it up. Um, so I definitely recommend this if you have thick curly hair. It's probably a little bit too heavy for thinner hair um, because you can see that this is pretty thick stuff. So I take about this much of the product and I rub it in my hands like this so it is evenly distributed in my hands. And I will do this side of my hair, this side of my hair, and then the back of my hair. I don't worry about dividing my hair into sections or anything like that. It wastes time. I am more efficient with just running my fingers through my hair. All right, and then the next product that I like to go in with is a curl cream. This one is my favorite. This is from Shea Moisture. It is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Styling Milk with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. So I love this curl cream. Again, I would suggest that this is for thick hair because this product is thicker. If you have thin hair, it will weigh your hair down. But I really, really enjoy this product. I've used a couple different curl creams and I always come back to this one because it does give me hold. Some of the other curl creams that I've used have absolutely no hold in them and then they just make my hair like soft and fluffy and when I want my hair to last all week without having to go back and wash it again and apply more products, I need something that has a lot of hold in it. So I do like the crunch. This gives me a little bit of crunch in my hair. The only thing I don't like about this product is it is so hard to get it out of the freaking bottle because you have to turn around and shake it. And then you can still see it has like a little bit of a bubble there. You have to squeeze it so hard. This product needs different packaging. So I put about 
this much product and I do the same thing where I do this side of my hair, this side of my hair, and the back of my hair. And again, I go like this, a little bit of praying hands, and then I go in and I rake it through the rest of my hair. And I tend to keep this more on the ends of my hair or the curliest part of my hair, just because if I put it on the top of my hair, it is pretty thick, so it weighs my hair down a bit. Um, so I keep this more towards the bottom. The last product that I like to go in with is a gel. I prefer a gel over a mousse. However, I am testing out a new mousse that I just bought, but this is my favorite gel that I've used so far. It is the Aussie Instant Freeze Gel 20 Hour Max Hold. I really like this gel. It lasts a long time in my hair, probably about two days or so, and then on the third day I'll have to wet my hair and put in a little bit more gel. Um, but that's more than I've experienced with other gels. I'd like to try some Diva Curl products and see how those gels work. But this is five, five, but this is five dollars compared to twenty four dollars for the other gels that I'm talking about. Um, so I really like this. This is curly girl friendly, um, without like the silicones and the sulfates and all that jazz along with my other products. I do have products that are not curly girl friendly, but heaven forbid I will put any silicones in my hair because that makes a cast over my hair and I can't get it out because I do not use a sulfate shampoo. So this is a good product to use if you're following the curly girl method. So how I like to do this is I like to go in with my Denman brush and I go around and I define all of the curls on my head. This also helps me to make sure that everything is detangled because my hair does get very tangled very fast. So I'll just go around and I'll take a piece of hair and I'll brush it outwards and then I'll spin it at the very end. And what this does is it separates my curl as it's going through my hair and then when I let go with that spin it clumps up the hair all together so then I have big chunky curls instead of little like stringy curls. That helps me a lot because I do have a perm and my curls are more stringy so by using this brush I have more curl clumps and my curly hair looks more natural. So I would highly recommend a Denman brush. It makes my curl clumps absolutely beautiful and girls with naturally curly hair see the same results um so i would completely re i would completely recommend it they're about 15 dollars or so for the brand denman and i got mine at sally's beauty so i don't know if you can tell the difference or not but i can tell the difference already while my hair is wet that my curls are just way more defined with using the denman brush i wipe off our hands and then we're going to go in with the gel about that much. Then I do the same thing. I do this side, this side, the back, and then I'll flip my hair over and I'll do the inside of my hair. Just because I do wear my hair like this all week without washing it, um, I need a lot of gel in my hair to make sure that at least some of my curls are still together by the end of the week. And I always do my gel with praying hands, so I have gel in both hands and I run them together to smooth out my hair. That helps me smooth frizz and then I go in with a little bit of product in my hand and I scrunch my hair from the bottom. And now I'm gonna flip my hair over with about this much of gel and run it on the inside of my hair. Now I like to diffuse my hair. I have an Infinity Pro Conair with the diffuser attachment. I like this diffuser because it is a bowl with the teeth on there that helps me get a little bit more volume. I diffuse my hair upside down for about 15 minutes and then I flip my hair up and diffuse right side up for 15 minutes. This gives me more volume and I always like to gather my curls in the bowl and push them up and that helps my hair shrink up a lot. I know some people don't like a lot of shrinkage, but I like my curls to be as defined as possible. And putting my curls in the bowl while the air dryer is going and pushing them up towards my head gives me the most shrinkage as possible. I start on high heat, high power when my hair is flipped over and I hover my dryer around my head. That helps the gel form a little bit of a cast and my hair dry a little bit before I'm going in and touching my hair with the diffuser. So my hair's flipped over. I do the hover method with air dryer, high heat, high power. Then I'll switch it to medium power, high heat. And when my hair's flipped over, I'm gonna do the gather the hair, push it up, gather more hair, push it up while it's on medium heat. 
And after about 15 minutes, we flip the hair back over, still on medium, no, still on medium power, high heat. I'll do the same thing, gather the hair, push it up, gather the hair, push it up, and after about 30 minutes, my hair is dry. Because I think that my hair is on the lower porosity side, it does take my hair a long time to dry. I also have a lot of hair. So it's about a 30 minute process and I will come back when my hair is finished drying. So at the end of my heat diffusing, I used a cool shot and that helps me set my curls so that they shrink up with the heat that I've been using. So the cool shot just kind of like smooths over everything, makes sure it stays in the same place, my curls don't elongate. That's why I like to do that. Um, this is what my hair looks like right now. It is probably about 95% dry. There's some little patches that are just a little bit wet, but it's not that big of a deal. My hair is very, very crunchy, and that is because of all of the gel that I used and the curl cream that I used does have hold in it. So my hair is very crunchy, and now we're going to scrunch out the crunch. So I don't like to scrunch out all of the crunch in my hair. I like to leave some of it because again, I do wear my hairstyle all week long. So on day one, my hair does look a little bit crunchy, but honestly, like it saves me so much time if I can get my hair to last for a whole week and I can keep refreshing my hair for a whole week. Um, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. I was using the Aussie Curl Oil, I believe that's what it's called. And when I was scrunching out the crunch, I would put it in my hands and scrunch out my hair and that would leave my ends very soft and very pretty. Um, but then I realized that the oil had dimethicone in it, which is a silicone. And again, I don't use silicones or sulfates because they're just not good for your hair. Um, so I discontinued using that product and eventually I think I'm going to get another oil because I really liked the look that the oil gave the ends of my hair and made them look very soft and not very crunchy. Um, and that was something that was very pretty, so we'll have to find an oil that doesn't have silicones in it, but after a quick search on Ulta, it seems that a lot of curly hair oils have silicone in them, so I'm gonna have to look a little bit harder. At this point, I like to gather four different bobby pins, and I pin my bangs back, or the part that's in my face, because if I leave it like this, yeah, I can kind of like push it to the side, but it just comes right back, and that's a pain in the butt all day long. Because my hair is so thick, it just doesn't have anywhere to go. Um, so I like to take this front section about that much of my hair. So just kind of like what's in front of my face, not the thickness going back, if that makes any sense. And I'll take this and I'll smooth it. And I'll bring it straight back. I don't like to bring it to the side because that makes my hair, like my head a little bit more square. Because I kind of have like a... An ovally rectangly face and bringing it to the side doesn't quite work for my face so I like to bring it up and back and then I'll take my bobby pins and I'll do a cross and then I do the same thing on this side but with a little bit less hair because my part is closer to this side so there's just less hair on this side so I'll take about this much and then pin it and then this is what the front of my hair looks like and what the back of my hair looks like. <laughs> so just in different lighting, this is where we are at with the hair. A little bit of crunch, not too bad. You can see the crunch a little bit, but this is just day one hair by day two. There's absolutely no crunch in the hair. So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming with me to watch how I style my curly hair, my perm. I really enjoy washing my hair and putting all the products in it and styling it. It does take a long time, probably takes me about an hour and a half to do this, just because I have so much hair and my hair likes so much product and it takes so long <laughs> to dry my hair. Um, but that's why I only do it once a week. But yeah, thank you guys for coming with me and watching the video. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you later. Bye beauties.